Four days and three nights in a haunted house. But was this house really haunted? It was a mansion in the Los Feliz district of Los Angeles, completely refurbished from the home that it had been in its heyday, when it was the repository of relics of horror, science fiction, and fantasy from decades of cinema and literature in the home that had belonged to science fiction collector, writer, editor, Forrest J. Ackerman. In 2015, the owner of Mr. Ackerman's former home, called the Acker Mansion, invited a team of about a dozen scientists, university professors, authors of books about the paranormal, and renowned psychic mediums, who had been vetted in a program at the University of Arizona, Tucson, by Dr. Gary Schwartz, who has studied life after death under the auspices of the university for over 20 years. Mr. Ackerman had been an atheist in his lifetime. He did not believe in life after death, or mediums, or seances. And yet, following his death, there were so many reports of strange activity that seemed to be initiated by him that those who knew him began to reevaluate whether he had been wrong all along in his assessment of life after death and whether he was trying to let them know that following his death, he changed his mind. Typically, what a seance means is you have a group of people simultaneously present trying to contact a set of spirits. This film was preceded by the Life After Death Project 1 and the Life After Death Project 2 Personal Encounters. And now, the Life After Death Project 3 Seance Encounters, in which this group attempted to invite the spirits of Forrest J. Ackerman and his wife Wendane to come back to the house and communicate with them. A seance unlike any you've seen, heard about, or imagined.